Thanks for tuning in. I'm Tim from Ellen Ann Home Life, and today I'm going to show you how to make the Freiheiten couch from Ikea. So it's about 10.30 in the morning right now. I'm going to try to record this real time. I'll fast forward to the boring parts. I'm going to show you how the parts go in and I'm going to show you step by step just like the book but I'll try to make it easier and faster than that for you so if you want to watch this instead of reading the book feel free. So that's about 12 minutes in and everything's unboxed. Here are the pieces. Cushion, instructions over here. Big part for your legs. Uh, that's the rolling part. Here's the other half of the rolling part. And there's the mess of the cardboard boxes. So step one is to put this fabric here onto the base of this. And this piece can be set up for a right side or a left side. We're gonna set it up on the left side. So it shows that there's a big circle and a little 90 degree. So the little 90 degree goes at the bottom. Pulling this corner is a very, very tight fit. All just the Velcro right here, Velcro right here, Velcro under here, and Velcro on the side. On to step four. So on your mess of parts, this one and this one and they go here and here On to step six. Okay, back to the mess. So you want to find four of these. Four of those. And 
or these guys. And then you just gonna take and screw them on. And you want to find this piece as well for your Allen key. And that just slides into here, like that. So it's a nice little handle for your Allen keys. I would suggest don't tighten them all up until all of your bolts are in. There's a sticker here that says, do not put any force on this. So it's pretty difficult, pretty difficult to lean in to get these two bolts in without putting any pressure on the bottom piece. And I did have to lift up on the base a small, tiny bit in order to, to get the bolts to line up. So step number eight is the smaller ones, two of these brackets, and you need four of the smaller ones. Four, let's double check them. That's the great thing about Ikea. Everything is life size. So that is right. So you wanna make sure that you put the holes down not the slots. Okay, number nine is to stand the coach up. So number 10 is the actual seat part, which is this part right here, and it's gonna go right on top of there. And it only goes one way, there's holes at the bottom here, and not up here. 11 is for these threaded bolts with the knob on top. Four, one, two, three, four. So just hold on to these for a second. They are not needed for step 12. Step 12 is two of these. Okay, so you're putting these two. The 13 is these bolts here, 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 here.
So number 14 is for these ones. And that's this smaller Allen key again. So these four bolts go in. One, two, three, four. Set 15 is to put the legs on. Earlier I put the leg in here and it's supposed to go on the outside and then also a leg right there. Okay. Step 16 is these screws with the Allen key head and these two hooks. Hook, hook goes down. Make sure not to over tighten these or you'll strip them. So step 17 is on the base and it's for these wheels. And it says four times. I think that means you have to do it four times, but eight screws for these. Oh, and you'll need a star screwdriver for your screws. Okay, on to number 18, which is two of these and four screws. Step 19 is to set the couch down and then latch the round piece here in behind this piece here. One last thing, it's kind of interesting, um, here, it shows you'd naturally want to put the pillows at this end, and then it says not to do that, it says to put your pillows at this end, which is kind of weird because I guess maybe this piece here isn't strong enough to hold the average person's body weight, which is kind of disappointing. Um, you might be able to jerry-rig something up with a 2x4 a in there or something just to hold that up, but it's, that's disappointing that uh, it doesn't hold your weight. Hmm. So we started building the couch at 10.30 in the morning. I finished around 12.10, an hour and 40 minutes to build a couch I've never built before. I think that's all right. It was pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Oh, and another crazy point, Freiheiten 
in English means freedom. Kind of weird. So it's sort of like the freedom coach. Anyway, I'm Tim from Melanie Ann Home Life. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.